guys welcome back to another video welcome back to my channel i am sandra's world okay guys on this video i'm going to tell you guys my experience my first experience while going to write for ctm in ambassador university yeah guys it wasn't really funny but if you're still back for the first time please do wait to turn that subscribe button drop your comment turn on the post notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload any video and please guys give me a thumbs up okay guys let's dive right into the video <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys my first experience why coming to write to CTM in Amsterdam University. Guys, it wasn't funny. Okay, actually, I'm staying in Redeem. Those of you that know Redeem, Redemption Camp, yeah, Redeem, after Bega, Mobile State. That's where I am staying. So, on, no, there was not any park in Bini, in Bini especially. Yeah, you just have to enter half half. You know, enter from, you know, that we end within um, front of within gates to the new bypass my four years in this school that i'll be entry but my positioning was my first time traveling yeah my other sister was actually in the school so she has been traveling like that then she went out from beneath bypass to and um, so she went out from within to beneath bypass then from beneath bypass she went out Epoma. that's how she has been doing it so that was my mommy plan okay since i'm going for pursuit anyway for pursuit TME there so I'm going to enter the same way my sis has been entering. That's my other sis has been entering. So when we get to redeem that money, the driver that we saw there was like, um, the near which she would no good. Make sure don't allow your child to pass through that wood. If I pass through that wood, I will spend the wood day day that we would we we'll go and pass them. Um, what they call that place? Agbo. Yes, Agbo Road. But fast, no, 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 don't reach where they go. My mommy should allow me to enter his bus. So don't go past Agbo. My mom was like, okay, so far, drop her from park. Drop her in a, in a place that she will see a puma bus. I was like, no issue, no problem. So I boarded the bus and we started the journey. When we got to um, Bini Bypass, the was not like, this is where you're supposed to draw, but because of the road is not good, it is zoomed off. So when we got to one place, I don't know them, but the man told me that we've entered the car state, I don't know them. Guys, we spent more than five hours. This was, it was a standstill. The bus was not moving. Like, I was not like, guys, I was not like the that, that, okay, this traffic now, we've been here for more than five hours. Can't you, um, <laughs> but I don't know anyway, I was naive, I was scared. Can't you um, give me to all those drivers that, because there's only one road, it was a two, um, two sided road. Only one road that was, but the other side is free. Okay. So you know most of those drivers on the road. Can't you give me to one of them that is going to help command? If I just smile, like, this get don't know to talk. Because, guys, it was getting late. It was dark already. I was so scared. I thought, like, okay, if I even get to that park, will I even see Epoma boss? The other like, was like, I should not be scared that I will see Epoma boss. That is going to put me in Epoma boss. I should not be scared. Guys, we got to Agbo around after 8. When we got to Agbo after eight, we went to the park. I was still, I was, I was really scared. I was scared. When we got, they took me to the park. So they were like, ah, where are you? They said, I'm going to help my like, ah, time don't go. Help my post on the walk again. I was not like, eh? Hey, God. I calm down. Yeah, that, that, my phone, eh? See, I don't even know. I was already acting like so that. Just, where will I sleep? I don't know anybody in there. I don't know anybody in Agbo. That was just like my first time there. Where will I sleep? Well, I was not like, I should know, but we want to find that driver. I went to take another driver. Like, they've closed for that day that I'm not going to help my day. But it's late. It was 8.30 to 9. Guys, I called my dad. I had see what I'm saying. I called my mom. I was like, I should calm down. They were like, uh, one, and they were like, um, that there's no problem that I should sleep at the park, that people should sleep at the park there. Guys, I was so confused. I have to drop my phone. I don't know where I dropped my phone that day. I dropped my phone somewhere. I was following the driver. <laughs> and I'm like, where's my phone? I have to guys see that day, my phone is at the phone. I should have not lost my phone that day because I was already I was I was not organizing him. I was confused. I was I was scared. But like, okay, what are we going to do now? 
what are we going to do? My dad was calling, my mom was calling, everybody was calling me. If it would be myself, I was never myself. One guy was not like, one girl I came to him, I'm like, stay in the park now. The place should stay in the park, that like, I should not be scared, that you just stay here, like, after all that security. One daddy woman just walk up to me, I don't know the man from any age, I was like, my daughter, let me advise you. Don't sleep in this park. See, initially, everybody in that park didn't know me that night, because... <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was being dramatic that day. I was just shouting at Jeremy that should have passed. I told you, and I was just see even I don't know I don't, I don't even know what I was telling the Jeremy that day. One man was not like, don't sleep in this park. Like if you sleep in this park, they will rape you. They will collect your money. That in fact the next one I will look like a mad person. Hey God, that was another fear that me. Okay, what will I do? They like I should do for day when I act like um hotel and God then I don't really have much with him. Yeah, I don't really I'm not gonna like it because I don't have much money with him. Then I ask okay if I'm to rent an hotel for one night if I'm, if I'm to book an hotel for one night I'm gonna have to pay them like five thousand or board. Then I'm gonna get that then I'm gonna see the money. Mm-hmm. And I just called me at that moment I'm like okay as I'm talking to you now look for the nearest police station. Hmm like, where I want to find police station? We, we, I, like, I was even shot at the fact that, where, am I, I, don't, I don't know yet, this is my first time. You ask me, where, where I want to find police station? Go, like, ask people around now, ask people around now. I'm like, okay, fine, fine, fine. I went to meet that same woman that told her she must be back. I'm like, is there any police station around? Like, very close by. So I'm like, yes. So I went to meet the driver. The driver actually waited for me. So I was, I really appreciate that. You had no degree. Then I'm like, I'm like, okay, fine, he knows one police station, he's gonna take me there. So the driver took me to the police station, guys. Then I go to the police station. They were like, no, they cannot accept. You see, sometimes there's a police station eh, that's they are a little bit annoying. Then I go, they, they actually they, they chase me, I should, I should go outside, I should, I should go outside. That who am I? Why would I come to sleep? Why would I just walk up to them after they want to? I'm like, no. I'm going to be for post it here me and see what happened. Woman was not like I should, I should be, um, I don't even know, woman in the park and she like I should, I should leave this phone, I should get out of this phone. So I came out and called my dad and I see what he said. You know. That was like, okay, I should give the man the phone, not to talk to the man. No, like, they don't talk to anybody, I should not give any phone. But that, 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 that they used to say, they used to put police, um, just put them in trouble. Like, they don't. I don't know where I was crying, like, where, where am I coming from, this, that. I was like, okay, I should calm down. I should just stay in that space. I should not leave that place. That driver was actually still with me. So I was just staying there. Then one woman came out of the station. She was like, you know, that um, young girl. Like, okay, fine. My, like, the mad senior woman in the place, that was like, okay, he's still angry because you know what is happening in the country and all of that. And, she just calm down. Yes, she's gonna go talk to the man inside. So I'm gonna get no problem. So I stood outside. Then the man went to meet the man. I don't know what she told the man. The man asked me to come inside. When I got inside, so I was like, okay, all the bag I was carrying, my traveling bag and the food store, that I should open it. She wanted to search it. I was like, fine, no problem. In fact, see, they scattered everything, the rice, the pizza, I was trying to rice, you know, food stuff, plantains, the um, bonvita, milk, and all of that. They must scattered everything. When she scattered this finish, I'm like, okay, fine. It's okay. Now ask me to arrange this. Guys, that bag, just know that actually arranged it, not me. Number one, I was already tired. And when traveling, eh, I don't like eating. That was my first time traveling. I was like, okay, I shouldn't eat. I was thinking I would get to Ekoma on time so that I won't start complaining. I want to use the restroom, all of that on the road. So I didn't eat that day. I know I bought banana. The banana was, the banana was inside my bag. But it, no, no, I bought it in the afternoon, the month that skills and all of that. It was so much. It was even so much irritating. I haven't eaten. I was already weak. I was tired. I was traveling the bag myself. I just I looked at the woman like. <laughs> Sandra, just calm down. But once about my life calming myself down, even if I'm angry, I do talk to myself, you know, just calm down. So I calm myself down, I arranged the bag, then I sat down. I felt like, okay, there was a bench there. I'm like, okay, you can sleep on that bench. Guys, 
the bench was so small like this. I have to skip myself on that bench. Cold. I was cold. They were just showing TB Joshua. Actually, I actually enjoyed my I actually enjoyed like my experience there because while I was there, some men came so that I want to walk the one I want to be around. One man just walked into the stage and was shouting. Hey, I did what was it? It was shouting. I, this was 2017, guys. Yes, 2017. This happened. The man was shouting that there is song, his song is innocent. This, that, that, that. I would see for, I didn't even sleep down. I was just watching everything. How some of the prisoners were shouting, I want peace so come on, put this guy, I want peace, I want peace. So no, 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 how if those of you have been to prison before. Yeah, I was just like watching everything. I didn't sleep down, I was just watching everything. Already at 6 a.m. guys. I stood up. I was like, okay, I want to start going. So I did like I watched TV Joshua, but they were just showing TV Joshua, TV Joshua then. So I watched TV Joshua all throughout the night. So around six, I just stood up. I begged Mama for water. So she gave me my water. I went to wash my face. We need to wash my mouth. Water. I had to close up again. I washed my teeth and just rinsed my body. Then I packed my bag. Like, okay, I thank God. Like, thank you so much. I really, I'm really grateful for allowing me to sleep here. I want to start going. So that man. Since it was about going on that morning, I was done with his own duty. I was like, um, no, give us anything. If I lie, you sleep for you, no, give us anything. I'm like, ah, sir, <laughs> if I get money, I'm not going to go stay for a hotel. I'm not getting money, maybe you can stay for the police station now. I didn't actually tell him that, but my mind, that was what I was saying. I'm like, ah, sir, I'm sorry, I don't have any time to sleep, but I'm actually going for an exam. So, guys, see, there's something I want to pick out, see. Before that, um, Maybe when well, I don't know, but my exam was on Monday. I left my house on Friday. I was like, she so she was like, say I should wait. I should leave on Sunday. Then yeah, Monday I'll go out my exam and come back on Tuesday and Wednesday. But my dad, what I, what I like, I like about my dad, he like, he like when maybe you're about to do something or you're going for something, go there on time and at least know how that place look like. But I was like, no, no, I should go on Friday. So at least I'll get used to, I will have gone to the, know where I'm writing the exam. I'll have know where and where. Okay, guys, I left my house on Friday. I go to the school on Saturday. What if I left on Sunday? And my exam was slated for 8 a.m. that morning. Maybe I won't have been able to write that post in my exam. So, guys, I went to the park. When I got to the park, it was so early, nobody was at the park. So I just stood there, I was waiting. I was supposed to already come to the park. I don't know, maybe do a travel and all of that. So I got to the park and I followed the bus. Guys, that one I was looking, I was looking somewhere, but I didn't wait. I wasn't eating. I was just looking somewhere that morning. So guys, that was it. I took a bag and um, I took a bus, so me then off we went. When I got to the school, I have to call my to the school kid, I have to call my dad's sister. She asked me to take bike. And she talked to the bike man too. I said where the bike man was to drop him. So that was it. I got I went to write my exam and I think the exam was successful. When I submitted, I was like, yes, I know what I wrote and I know I'm gonna get admission. A few weeks later, in a few months, after a month, just after a month. My name actually came out on the first list, yes, first batch. I gave admission, they came out first batch, and that was it. That was how I gave admission into Akisan University. Guys, I'm telling you guys this story just for those of you that are planning to go for pursuit and all of that. Sometimes it's saying, it's a proper preparation to prevent poor performance. Yes, it's good to actually go on time. Go early, but you don't know what will happen to you while you go. You don't, you don't know whether there will be traffic, nothing bad initially will happen, but you don't know what you actually encounter while, while going. So, most times it's very good for you to go on time when going to write the exam. So, guys, if you watch up to this moment, up to this point, and you haven't subscribed, please, guys, subscribe to my channel, support my channel, like and drop a comment if you've actually experienced something like this or something more than this. Drop it on the comment section. And to my returning subscribers, thanks so much for watching my video. See, in fact, I'm so happy this morning. I woke up and I saw a lot of comments on some of my videos. Thanks so much, guys. I really do appreciate. See, we'll meet in my next video. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you.